What's up YouTube, Erod here, just coming up with another haul video for you guys. So uh, this is a little bit of a different haul, it's not an LCS pickup haul or flea market pickups or my usual run of uh, ways of getting my books. This is a, a, a collection that I picked up, it's about 50 books, a little bit over 50 books, and I use the Let Go app. So if you guys haven't seen it or used it, you know what, sometimes it's pretty good, a lot of redundant stuff in there, but if you filter through there, keep looking through you'll find some diamond in the roughs every once in a while so uh, I'll show you this collection and you guys let me know exactly what you guys thought of this um, and I'll, I'll give you a ballpark on what I paid for it and uh, you know another good good uh, tool to use to find books affordably you know you, you can find some diamond in the roughs every once in a while but uh, so as part of this collection it had uh, Infinity War number two and I'll go through these quick. Venom the Madness, number two. Uh, Venom, number three. Marvel 2 and 1, number 89. X Factor, number 92, with the hologram foil on it. X Factor, number 81. I'm sorry. Let's just move that. Thor number 500, uh, Punisher 2099, this one had a, a fold on the side, uh, New Mutants number 58, Marvel Super Heroes Magazine, which has original stories in there, um, Curse of Spawn number 16, Curse of Spawn number 7. Some 90s goodness there. Glory number nine, number four. Will to Power number one by Dark Horse. It's a nice Bill Tucci. She number 11. Uh, Vanguard number one. Silver Surfer number 87. Midnight Suns. It's Night Stalkers number 15. Some 90s Blade. New Warriors number five, Jim Stalin's Dread Star. This is the annual number one. Batman and Robin, The Boy Wonder number nine. I believe that's some Jim Lee art there. Really nice cover. Um, Wolverine number one forty four. Superman in Action Comics number twelve. Superman number seventy six. Man of Steel, number three. Uh, you know, a lot of filler stuff there. But there were a couple books, and you'll see them at the end, that were the reason I bought this. Um, Avengers, number 402. Avengers 367. Avengers 360. That has quite a few ticks on it, also on the Chromium cover. Fantastic Four. Atlantis Rising uh, Collector's Preview. Fantastic Four, number one, from 1998. FF, number 397. 359. 358. So, you know, Fantastic Four is becoming popular again. Rampaging Hulk, number six, final issue. Rampaging Hulk, number two. Uh, Incredible Hulk, number 15. Incredible Hulk, number 393, homage to the original cover there. Uh, number 418 right there. 470, that's a, that's a typical 90s art. Everything was big and bold. Um, 471. Here we get into some more decent books here. Um, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man. Number 21, Spider-Man, number one, Sensational Spider-Man, all black costume, great artwork there. That looks like a, a Clayton Crane book cover there. Uh, really nice. Number 37, Sensational Spider-Man, number two, Peter Parker, number 90, Peter Parker, number 89, Peter Parker, number 14, 
Peter Parker number six. Like I said, good set fillers, you know. There's only quite a few books in here to fill runs. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number two fifty-five, number two thirty-one, and then Amazing number twelve when they renumbered, and Amazing number four thirty-nine. And now uh, these are the books that I saw uh, that piqued my attention. Monkey Man and O'Brien by Dark Horse, number one of three. I believe that's the first appearance of them. A really nice copy of Iron Fist, number seven. Uh, I've, I'm have i trying to finish that run, so I'll take that book every day of the week. Nice for a bronze. Um, let me show you. But that's a pretty nice book. It's an easy $10 book, maybe more, every day. Um, had this in there. Incredible Hulk, number 449. First Thunderbolts. So yeah, that you're right right there. Uh, that was one of the, the books that piqued my interest, and it's actually in really nice shape. So uh, su super happy to pick that up. And then the last one, which was right there. Special Marvel Edition number 15. And that's the first appearance of Shang-Chi, the Master of Kung Fu. Um, so, 50-something well, books. I paid 40 bucks. With it, I got the first appearance of Shang-Chi. First appearance of the Thunderbolts. And a Bronze Age Iron Fist. First Monkey Man and O'Brien, which is about a $10 book. So, 40 bucks. You tell me what you think. I think that book alone... More than makes the trip to pick this collection up worth it. Uh, it's probably like a seven, but that book is doing nothing but increasing and rising, so I'll definitely take it. But you know, again, let go another way to go look for some books on the cheap sometimes and pick up collections. You know, it's all about communicating with the with the seller. You know, talking down the prices and you know, I mean, everybody does all of that stuff when you it's bartering at its best, but. Just want to share that with you guys. Just show another way that I pick up books. Sometimes get some books on the cheap. And uh, that's it. Uh, thanks to all my new subscribers. I appreciate everybody subscribing to my channel. Uh, appreciate all the likes. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and like my content, hit the subscribe. Please leave comments. I always like answering and interacting with everybody back and forth. And uh, until then, peace.